Hi, this is uh, my uh, bathroom that I remodeling, uh, one of my property. And as you can see, I want my intention is to put tiles here, and I just uh, starting to put them. You know, like uh, we didn't think I didn't use tinsel yet. I just want to cut the tile properly before I'm going to put them. And uh, if you can look at this uh, piece of nylon here that I put. It's only for checking the, to check the moisture level of this concrete because it's important the moisture level below as much as you can. Otherwise, I will need to use a moisture barrier and other stuff. And but what I really want to talk about is I want to talk about the toilet uh, pipe here that you can see it's a four and a half inch pipe, and uh, I removed the old flange because I want to put a new flange here. Uh, on top of the tile as it should and uh, what I really want to talk about is how to address this issue, how to cut this tile okay, to fit properly around this pipe okay, so what I did really, I measure from the wall here to the center of the pipe and the way to do it actually I measure from here to the beginning of the pipe and from here to the the farthest point from the wall and this is the closest point from the wall I divide it by two and I get exactly here okay this, so I just mark it here and then I create this two line okay this exit axis line here and then I just took a four and a half inch a four and a half inch uh, is the diameter okay I took uh, the pipe which I have here, okay, it doesn't matter, not that one, I use the, the real pipe and I just uh, circle around it and that's what I actually have, I mark it and as you can see, I have exactly the mark around the pipe here so now I'm going to cut it and that's what I really want to show you how to cut uh, tires, it's a porcelain tires to create this circle here Okay, there's many ways to do it and I just want to say one way, you can do it other ways if you want. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm, I put this uh, tile here, you see I'm using a wet saw and I put it exactly in the center here, center of the circle, okay, and I'm going to start cutting the tiles until here and it'll go like that backward. And then I'm going forward after that. I'm going to make quite of many cuts, okay? And then I'm going to use the grinder to actually form this circle properly, okay? So uh, let's start doing it. So after I finish to do this part, I'm going to go to the other place here. So I'm going to move the tiles now to this place and I'm going to start cutting. So what I'm really doing, I'm cutting here, as you can see, I'm cutting here a straight line until I'm reaching to this point, you know, to the circle point. And then I'm going to remove them Show you how I'm going to do that. So I really want to show you what I did here, if you're going to look at that, you can see the way it looks, correct? So simple, just cut slices here until you reach this point, okay? And now I'm going to actually remove them and I can use, okay, I have to clean here some stones. 
Now I can use this machine also to remove them and look, look the way I'm doing it with this machine. Let me show you how. Okay, so here I will come with a machine and I will hit this point and see what happens when I'm hitting this point. You see what happening when I hit the point, it's breaking them. Okay, and I can continue cutting quickly. Okay, here I'll show you an example here. Okay, I'm going for that. Look at it carefully. So until now, you see what I did here, actually, like cutting it here. I just went really to remove all these pieces here, okay? There is a way to do it, you can actually take a hammer and knock it down, it will go also. But you know, I want to be safe, okay? And I just want to show you this technique. You can use different techniques if you want, but remember, I can take now, if I take a hammer, I will use the hammer, I just let me show you. The See what I can do, I can take this tile here, to right here. You know, I can also use hammer, but you have to be very careful here. See? See, that's also another way to do it. But a bit here I cannot do it, it's quite dangerous. Okay, I could do it. Okay, so I probably remove most of it. So now what I can use, I can use the grinder. Okay, to remove it, all of it. I just want to show you what's going on in the back. You can see it's almost perfect, but it's not really. We really need to cut quite a bit here. Okay, well that's what I'm going to do with the grinder now. So let me show you what I'm doing with the grinder. Okay, I will take I want to show you now, I'm starting to work with the grinder. It's not a wet saw, it's a grinder. So the grinder will actually take all of this nicely. Let me show you how. So, as you can see here, I'm using a Milwaukee Milwaukee grinder. I really like these tools and they, they're selling the very good tools. Remember, when you work with these, please uh, put your hand far away as much as you can from the blade. Okay, because it's dangerous. So just remember, your safety is the most important. You have to put glasses also. Uh, because uh, things are flying all over here so you have to protect your hide and maybe if you want to put masks and other stuff and I'm holding it far away from the blade okay and sometimes you need to hold two, two hands but if you don't if you can't use it to your two hands because sometimes you want to use the hand for other things just remember your hand should be far away in the black place here not here here okay so now I'm going to actually start working with it. I'm doing the same thing what I did with a wet saw. I'm going parallel, just making cut here. Okay, until I'm reaching here to this line. Okay, so I'm taking slow because I want you to see the techniques here. I can make it faster. Okay, after I'm going to use cutting that stuff, I'm going to actually grind it slowly but surely.
Okay, almost finished here. I just want to shape it nicely here, as you can see. Okay, so as you can see, it's almost done. So what I'm doing now, I'm flipping it here to this place. And and take the grinder again and start to shape it. So let's see how it's looking now. So you can see more or less it's it's okay. Maybe a little bit of sanding here, a uh, little bit here. And remember, it's it's not perfect. It's under the toilet. I just want to get a little bit moisture because sometimes you really need a perfect circle. So that is a menu finish here, as you can see. Okay, and let's see, let's see how it looks. Here's the tile. I just pull it slowly here, where you need to be. Put face of here. I just want to push this tile more inside, okay, to show you. Okay, as you can see here is the circle, this is the tile that we just cut now. Okay, so it's not really perfect. We address this issue perfectly. And as you can see, this is a little bit, uh, the circle is out here, this is a little bit uh, not to the perfection here. This is almost perfect here, and here is almost perfect, but here is the issue a little bit. That's because I follow the line, and the line that I follow is not a perfect circle. So that's the way it's look, but remember, we're going to take this flange, okay, and we're going to put it here. And we're going to... I don't want to push it until the end, but as I understand here, you're not going to see anything uh, of this imperfection. It's almost perfect, but there is an imperfection here. Okay, so after we're going to put this flange inside, okay, and so the tire put the flange inside, we're going to actually uh, screw this flange to its position and we're going to put the toilet. So that's the way you actually, let's say one of the way, and one of the easy way for do it yourself that you can actually make a circle okay in this. Yeah, thank you for watching this video